three, two, one. With the Firestone Grand Prix this Sunday, we have none other than IndyCar driver Patricio Owar joining us here on WFLA. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so excited to have you. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Thank you guys for having me. Of course, of course, of course. Well, being one of the youngest means being one of the most talented in the business. You were 2020's Rookie of the Year for the Indianapolis 500. You're signed with McLaren. How do you feel to not only represent McLaren at 22 years old, but also the new and upcoming generation? It's been good. It's been uh, it's definitely been a ride. Um, it, we had a great year last year. We ended fourth in the championship. As you mentioned, we were rookie of the year in, in the in the 500, and um, we've got a, a full year under our belt. So we're we're uh, we're challengers this year. We had a we had a great weekend in Alabama last uh, last Sunday, and we're ready to go for this weekend. I'm so excited. You're diversifying racing so much. You're paving your own path. On social media, you post both in English and Spanish. How important is it to you, Pato, to represent the Latino community and how does it make you feel? Do, do you have any drivers that you look up to and inspire? It's massive. It's, it's really important to, uh, to me uh, to, put, to put my flag as, as high as I can. Uh, they've been behind me, supporting me. Uh, you know, throughout the years, and um, the the support is greatly appreciated, and it's and I feel it. You know, you mm. you definitely feel it, especially when you know when the day doesn't quite go how you want it to go, and you see everybody you know pushing you and like, hey, like good job, and um, it's big. It's 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 really big, and um, you know, just like just like any other driver, I wanna I wanna give them. Uh, a reason to celebrate on every Sunday. So, uh, so far it's been good, but um, we're uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be looking for that for that podium and for that win this this weekend. Absolutely, and we're very excited to have you here in Florida. You started in pole in Alabama. How excited are you for this Sunday? And do you have any pre-race rituals? I mean, do you have any playlists that you know pep you up and get you in the zone? How do you prepare for that big race? Yeah, I can't wait for this weekend. I love St. Petersburg, not just the racetrack, but uh, you know, it's the first street street crest, uh, street track that we go to this uh, this year. Um, the restaurants are fantastic. The hotels are fantastic. Uh, the atmosphere, the vibe, um, everything about St. Petersburg is awesome. Uh, I love going there, and um, it's a track that I really enjoy driving. So. We're, uh, we're expecting a, 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 an adventurous and a sort of chaotic weekend. You can always, you can always expect things to go um, pretty, pretty crazy whenever it's the first street course of, of, the, of the calendar and everybody wants to, uh, to be up at the front. Um, but it's going to be good. It's, uh, the weather looks fantastic Friday, Saturday. Maybe a few showers on Sunday. That's going to make things even more interesting than what they <laughs> usually are. So it's going to be going to be uh it's going to be good you're speaking my language i'm a weather anchor here so that yes music to my ears but speaking of tracks you've traveled to some amazing places internationally and here in the u.s which would you say is your favorite and where does the firestone track rank on your scale uh i gotta say saint pete is actually up on my schedule uh up on my priority okay. track uh favorites um for the top one on the calendar um, I actually really enjoy Alabama, uh, but I think a, a close second is either uh, St. Pete or okay. <laughs> uh, one of the California races, either uh, Laguna Seca or uh, or Long Beach. Okay, really okay. Cool. We'll, we'll let that Alabama slide for a second. We'll just say St. Petersburg is up there with, with all your top faves. Well, I know we're ways away from the end of um, IndyCar season, so what's the first thing you do season is over? Um, chill with my family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just relax and spend time with them. Um, this, the season in general is, is really intense throughout the seven months that is, uh, that is you know, ongoing. So anytime that I can just be home and do nothing and relax, I always do that. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, I think you're definitely someone worth watching in the racing world with a promising career ahead of you. So I have to ask you, Pato, what's next? I mean, where do you see yourself the next five years? 
what's next well hopefully uh i'm a champion i'm a champion by then and uh <laughs> i'm an indy 500 champion by then yes. that'd be uh that'd be fantastic that is the goal Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to watch Patricio this Sunday at 12 o'clock here on News Channel 8.